Hey, welcome back to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, man. Look, y'all. If if he was actually, if Dolph was actually taken on the way to the turkey drive, then what the heck is that autopsy and all that information that came out showing, man? Because you got to understand that the people that took some of the jewelry is fire for the paramedics, the responders. Like, you got to realize that some of these people who you think could be possibly, like, innocent is not actually innocent. Like, we be led to believe that, we're being led to believe that some of the people that was there helping um, is actually come to find out they're not helping. They're actually doing da more damage than help. You got to basically realize the facts have came out. We already broken down that the firefighter dude that took the watch, it was an AP watch, $90,000 baguettes, okay? We already told you about how 901 Trigger Trey got caught at the Mall of America on camera wearing Dolph's baguette chains um, with the emerald diamonds, the the two-tone um, white gold, rose gold with the diamonds in it, VVSs and flawless, right? So we already educated y'all on that. Look at the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe has hundreds of thousands of dollars in there all going to Maurice and Pamela Hill. Raven, Raven got paid out for her participation in the amount of eighty to a hundred thousand dollars, and even more on the back end, more commission coming towards her too, with damage control. They also hired her as basically the publicist, PR person to come out and be telling all them weird stories she told that contradicted herself and caused more um, incriminating information to come out of her mouth that basically helped us solve this entire situation man you gotta look at the fact that maurice he made the call to uh you know have his brother get got man because his brother knew exactly what happened and basically he was in the way of what was going to be the narrative that raven and maurice were planning and plotting up writing up so that she could repeat it to the um the news and the media outlets out there that she spoke with specifically sco specifically with you know ramon johnson and it's easy for them to basically interview makita because a raven because they're going to let her take as many takes as they can uh because she doesn't have her lines memorized that well that's why she keeps slipping up now now come to find out that big moochie grape had this whole thing as one of the big players man he's one of the ringleaders and that's why big moochie grape is is basically looked at as a op to Dolph now because you got to realize there's a video out there on November 14th where Big Moochie Grape was washing his face and stuff like that and he was addressing allegations and rumors that he out of his mouth said that Dolph wasn't loyal to him ever since signing him first of all that doesn't make any sense because how could somebody not be loyal to you at all, but then they give you millions of dollars in Lamborghini trucks and stuff like that? All the value of the deal, the, the how good Dolph did Big Moochie Grape is more than just loyalty. And so for that to even be a rumor or an allegation, something had to come out of Big Moochie Grape mouth for him to be considered right before, uh, literally a week before the whole Dolph thing, he was considered a... a like going against the grain, going against Dolph. And now we see why, because it makes sense now that he's wrapped up as one of the people who planned the hit and was participating as it, in it. He did his role. He paid um, the people, right? Now, they they basically turn they back on Dolph, man. You got to realize that these dudes... These dudes at the end of the day, man, all they care about is themselves. You got to you gotta basically look at it how if they're coming out of the hood and they weren't even thankful or grateful enough to, to be happy about the whole situation of them getting an advance, them being able to be signed and whatnot, get Lambo trucks, then they're not even grateful for that. So what makes you think that they're ever going to be like appreciating Dolph in the long run, being by his side when things go down. You see how quick they were to change up as soon as somebody offered him money and told him that we're going to take out all the PRE anyways, whether you like it or not, you either in, you either with us or against us. 
And so they said, if you can't beat them, join them, man. But they tricked y'all. You can beat them. They could have beat them. Whatever it is that was coming after Dolph, whatever it is that they wanted, Dolph would have prevailed. He would have won in the in the long run. So eventually, eventually what goes on is that th these guys didn't believe. They got themselves tricked into thinking that you had to join them and if you can't beat them. And so once they joined them, man, they were okay with the little amounts that they were going to get from this. They were okay with, you know, living the rest of their life knowing that they did this to Dolph and all for just some crumbs and scrap change, man. So a lesson should be learned to everybody that you can't be just, you know, get like, you can't just be throwing people under the bus and going against your whole people that have been rocking with you for so long, all for a little bit of change and, and some crumbs and stuff like that, man. The, this little crumb stuff be coming around, but what they need to do is get together and make a bread truck, you know? And basically, it just goes to show that not a lot of people are going to be loyal in the end, man. So just take that as a lesson learned. You got to live with the fact that you can help so many people, but they don't want to help you back or they're just taking advantage of you. They're like, wow, I can't believe this guy is so nice to help me because if if they were you or knowing them, they wouldn't be the, the type to be helping people. They weren't, you know, they weren't like um, proactively doing good. Dolph had to tell them to do good in the community. They had to follow Dolph's lead. Nobody was really doing it where they were already on their own thinking to do the kind of stuff Dolph did. And that's the that's just goes to show that the difference in their mentalities. One guy has to be told what to do and the other person already knows like what's what's prosperous, what's good or bad. And that's where you know, everything takes a turn for people when it comes to the differences. Like you could be from the same place, the same hood, right? You could do the same job. You could be both rappers and everything, but the minds are so different to where one type of mind is influenced by whoever they think is powerful and whatnot. And they feel as if they only have one way out. The other mind thinks that, you know, all things are possible as long as you just stay true to yourself, right? And so that's what Dolph's mentality was, but everybody else's mentality didn't line up with that. That's why at the end of the day, they all turned their back on Dolph, man. They were they were greedy people at the end of it. And it just really shows in their behavior and the reasons why they're caught up in the ways that they're caught up in all of this. So with all that being said, man, I'm gonna come back with the update. And you guys need to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like this video. If you're new to the channel, share this video and hit that bell so you can continue to be notified when breaking news happens on everything and all situations.